Oh, can see the Pete Show, Saturday DJ Spike, also known as Mega DJ Spike. My partner, partner ain't here today, but he did give me his little notes for uh, the playoff games. Anyway, um, at least I want one of them. <laughs> Uh, we are going to be talking about three products, three products, probably wondering why is there a black screen? Oh, it's because I am sick at the moment and I do got boogers coming out, so I don't think you want to see that. <laughs> anyway, that being said, today we'll be talking about stuff you put on your hair, toilet paper, and chocolate. But let's start it off with chocolate. How many of you love chocolate? Oh, I love chocolate. Yeah, so I, I went to the store, you know. A couple of uh, weeks ago, I mean, I love chocolate. And um, you know, when you go to the store, you know, you're a chocolate fan like I am, and you want to get chocolate milk. And, you know, there's a uh, different types of chocolate, right? There's one with a bunny, and then next to it was another one with a bunny. But you got the American bunny, and then you got one from Mexico. So I told myself, hmm. Let me go ahead and try the the bunny from Mexico, you know, he's all dressed up and all that. He got his little hat backwards, or I don't know, it was in Spanish. Um, I'll show you the picture right now. Here it is. And, yeah, and I'm like, wow, the other one's still naked, you know. And then, you are know, looking at the naked bunny and the, the one from Mexico all dressed up, all cool. So I got that one. I go, well, the same maker, just one in Spanish, this one's in English. I take them home, open it up, man, as, I, as soon as I mixed it with milk, it was like the darkest chocolate ever, you know, and it was the best tasting chocolate there was, and I was like, oh, you know, like, <clears throat> you know, you know it, was, it was the best tasting chocolate, then you're looking at the other one, you know, thinking, what, you've been missing out on this one. You're like, okay, they're two different countries, you know, and I'll let y'all, I'll let y'all, you know, decide which one y'all like. The Mexican one was pretty good. I mean, that's the best chocolate. <laughs> I mean, the, it has the ingredients in the back, you know, and it's all like legit, you know, you're like, wow, sugar, cocoa, process, and alkali, and, and so on and so on, you know, and you're like, Okay, but the American one look, looks all faded out, and then the picture looks a little faded, and the bunny's naked, and you're like, but it doesn't taste that good like the, the Latin one. Well, I'll say Latin, but it's authentic Latin. So, like I said, it's mostly to compare products with other products. It has to be products, same products, but different country ones. I mean, I'd recommend that, that uh, Latin one. And... <coughs> You know, just look at the picture next time you go to a store, give it a shot. I mean, it's pretty good. You might want to read the ingredients and compare ingredients mm -hmm. as well. Make sure it doesn't have something the other one doesn't have. Actually, you need to go get the other one with the other one's ingredients. But other than that, this one is awesome. Next topic, hidden motor. Okay, how many of you have tried hidden motor? I'm not going to use the real name here, you know. Last time I got in trouble because there was a little music came in the background. Um, you know, I've used a... Uh, other brands, I've tried that one, really never worked out for me. I mean, you'll see NFL players come out, just throwing their hair around everything, you know, they feel nice and neat. Um, but I've had a lot of people tell me, you know, uh, I'll tell them, has it worked for you? They'll tell me no, some say yes, some say a week. The uh, thing I could tell you is I've tried cheaper brands, and it does last longer. And to me is okay head and motor or a cheaper brand is going to be more competition either you lower your price down or you know just upgrade your, your, your formula whatever you're using where it's going to you know benefit everybody you know you know just some people that say it lasts for a week but to last more than a week I could tell you something that cheap brand starts with an E I mean, that one actually lasted a long time, you know, I probably went like months without having to use it, the bottle was even getting mobile itself, and I'm like, oh well, um, hidden motor works for me, and a week later, she's, they're using it again, and I'm like, okay, you could just use my, you know, my brand, which to me, it's my brand, you know, and it'll last longer, next you know, she puts it, but other than that, I'm gonna go ahead and go out there and uh, talk to people about, you know, uh, hear their their feedback and 
their response is actually then how equipment products help them out and equipment products don't. But to me, a lot of these products, they have been taking advantage of people. They've either been downgrading their formula or the product itself is, is you pay more for less, you know. Am I wrong or right? Go ahead and comment, you know. I mean, it, it's ridiculous. We got to be the voice, you know. And that's what me and my crew are here for. Eventually, Smiley will be coming along too. Uh, that guy will bring up all the candies, man. I mean, that, that dude's like an addict for candy. <laughs> Other than that, you know, right now I'm talking a little because I'm sick, you know. And I had a couple of boogers coming out. Other than that, um, yeah, that, that's the whole, you know, concept of this show, you know, is we got to be the voice. We'll be the voice for you and we'll put it out there, you know. If you're not giving us what we pay for and then you decide to jack up the price and then lower the product down like the inside and all that it's it's ridiculous uh next subject let's go ahead and go with toilet paper okay toilet paper this time i'm gonna have to favor the name brand because i don't know if y'all gotten any cheap brands before um there's this one brand i have gotten in you know something soft i'll tell you something when you wipe your butt with it it literally leaves you like the whole fuzz I don't know if that eventually becomes like a health problem or something, but I decided not to use that paper anymore because that's pretty sick, you know. And I don't know if y'all encountered that or y'all still buy it because of it, because the cheapness it is, you know, the price. I wouldn't recommend it. I mean, if something's gonna be leaving your, your crack with little residue and all that, I mean your juices, whatever, you know, your sweat and it's like, you know, it's gonna accumulate bacteria and all that. I mean. Pretty sure you get sick from that. So if it has to do with the price range or something, go ahead and get coupons. I mean, I found coupons that are real good for name brand toilet paper, you know. And I end up buying it cheaper, and my buns are happy after that, you know. And uh, I'll be happy too. It's better to be safe than sorry. And it's, you know, it's to look out for for you and all that. Also that, those companies, I mean, do they, it gets you thinking, do they even try it on their buns? I mean, because if you're getting toilet paper residue left in your crack, it's pretty sick, you know? Then you're there, like, once you think about it, do they even try it out? Do they even test it out? Or are just giving it out there to the people, you know? It's ridiculous, man. I mean, it's nasty. It's, it's just sick. Okay, let's go ahead and go to the sports section. <coughs> okay, Parker's Picks. And he actually uh, messaged me his picks today, so I'm going to go ahead and read them out to you since he's not here today. We are under the weather. And his picks are... Steelers win against the Chiefs. Um, do I agree with him? I'm going to say the Chiefs are going to take it. I mean, you know, the Steelers were dominant last game. It was an awesome game. But... I mean, the Chiefs have gotten this far, and Chiefs, to me, have always been a good team. Uh, you know, when they had Trent in there and all that, I think that they'll take the win, the Chiefs. He's taking schedules. Okay, he says Green Bay will beat the Cowboys. Um, like I said before on the other one, I am a Boys fan. I'm, I'm going to tell you something. I think it's going to be a game, but I think my boys have a more better better team on offense and defense so he takes green bay i take the cowboys okay he said atlanta wins seattle for once i'm gonna have to go with him on that one i do think atlanta's gonna win it um they've gotten in so many times this far and sadly they end up falling apart but i think this time they got it not just because i had their quarterback as my uh, fantasy starting quarterback i don't know if play fantasy real excellent <laughs> um you know game um, online game, yeah. But like I said, uh, we'll take Atlanta with him on this one. And last but not least, Texans and Patriots. He says Texans win in a upset against the Patriots. Okay, I'm gonna have to say no. no I don't think so. Uh, the quarterback doesn't really got it. As you, if you really pay attention on his passes, I mean, those are the majority of the passes are just floated. I mean, you know, he doesn't even have an arm. I'm sorry to say it, but. I, I, you know, 
my secondary team, if I had to, you know, choose another team, would be the Texans, but with that quarterback, you know, I, I don't think they got it. So, he's taking Texans, and I'm taking Patriots. And that's Parker's picks. But, before we go today, I did want to bring up another thing. Like I said, it's just not about, you know, three topics all the time. Uh, it's about us, the people, that we have to be the voice. We gotta put our foot down. And, you know, hopefully this starts changing. And the product, uh, you know, the businesses see about their products and they improve their products. And they sh then know, you know, that, hey, we shouldn't be charging this much. Or, hey, um, you know, people end up understanding, like, yeah, is it worth it or not? You think about it. Thanks for watching the future. Thanks for watching the Pete Show.